If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another video based on the players uh, Ultimate Team Cards from FIFA 09 all the way through to 2015 which is the current FIFA. Now we are doing bail today, you guys did thumb up a comment to get him done and uh, here it is for you. So if you want another player done, i.e. the likes of Robin done tomorrow maybe, remember to drop a like rate and try and smash over 5,000 likes. Subscribe if you are not subscribed as well and uh, hopefully these cards do bring back a few memories. A few of them do bring some back for me um, and the will have a little story behind them as well. So, yet again, guys, if you missed any of these type of videos, make sure you do have a look through the channel. There's Messi, Ronaldo, Henri, Ibrahimovic, and I think there's a lot more to come as well. So, with that said, guys, let's get into the first style of cards, which are his non-regular informs. Yeah, so completely fucked up with that. It's not his non-regular -re informs. It's actually his regular gold cards. Some of them um, are upgrades, and he did get a few over the years, and some of them are transferred cards as well. So, with that said, guys, let's get on and... Um yeah, let's do this. So, he has his 09 card, which is a 77 rated left back for Spurs. A lot of people do remember Gareth Bale being a left back, and that's probably why it does make him the player he is today. Mainly because he knows what defenders are going to do. He did have, he did score a lot of amazing goals. The goal against Inter Milan, I can't remember when that was. It was in the Champions League, and he completely did rip through Inter's defence all the way from left back, and even did it as well, um, earning himself a man of the match card, which you will see later on. So, he has an 09, um, 77. He then got downgraded to a 76 left back in FIFA 10 um, and then did go upgraded to a, an 80 left back in uh, later on that year. In FIFA 11, he had an 81 and 84 left midfield card. In FIFA 12, he had an 86 rated um, bail card from, from left midfielder and I think he also had a team of the season that card as well but we will... Uh, talk about that in a little bit. In FIFA 13 he had a left midfield card for uh, Spurs and then obviously later on in FIFA he did transfer to Real Madrid making him a centre forward. That card was nuts and very very expensive as well. In FIFA 13 he had two cards, one of them being a Real Madrid version, the centre forward um, as a lot of people do know but he also did have a Spurs, um, a Spurs card. Now a lot of people might not know this, Xbox users may not know but on PlayStation there was a centre forward Spurs card floating around on the transfer market. Um, I remember it, I never got my chances to, to play with it but I think maybe a YouTuber owned it as well and obviously you got the base card this year which is the right midfield version. Um, for Real Madrid. So let's move on to his inform cards throughout the years as well. So with his inform cards, he's got his 83 rated left midfield card in FIFA 10, and in FIFA 10 he also had the 86 rated. FIFA were very EA themselves were very lacklust um, in just whacking random stats on players. I loved it. I actually enjoyed it. It did make the player values go all the way up. And now um, on some informs, you only see him go up two ratings maximum uh, on the first inform anyway. So he went from an 83 to an 86. FIFA 12 he went from an 87. Um, that was his only in form and in FIFA 13 he'd have an 86, 87 and 88 card. In FIFA 14 he actually did manage to get um, some Real Madrid in forms as well. They were very, very expensive cards. I remember having some of them um, and a lot of people were expecting them to become um, central versions but that actually did not happen which was a shame. Um, both of them are right midfield in 89 and 88 and with that said guys let's move on to his, um, to his team of the season cards. So his team of the season cards, he's had three all to, four altogether, sorry, three of them um, at Spurs and one of them at Real Madrid. The first one was in FIFA 12, no, FIFA 11, um, when EA did actually release uh, leagued team of the years, which now have become the team of the season. So his 87 rated inform card was his uh, team of the year, team of the season card. Um, he had a 90 rated version in FIFA 12 and then 93 rated in FIFA 13. Now I actually got given this card off EA, um, as a goodwill gesture and I will explain to you when you see the special cards. Uh, he had 93 rated right midfield version last year as well. Very nice card, very expensive um, and we probably will see it again this year but there's one card which a lot of people think may happen this year and that's his first ever team of the year card. Let me know if you agree with that statement um, and yeah let's move into his special cards. So the two special cards of Bale, there is a 95 rated player card version. 
this existed. I played with it. I actually owned it. But a couple of days later, EA did make me, um, me and R9 Rai actually discard the card because it was created by accident. But the card did exist, and that's why I put it in the special card version. Um, and that was the reason why I was compensated the Team of Season version um, back in FIFA 13 as well. He also managed to get a Man of the Match version, which was for that awesome goal against Barcelona in their... Uh, cup, I can't remember which cup it was, it was an awesome goal and uh, it did win Real Madrid a trophy and that card was very expensive as well because not only um, was it moved from the right midfield to left midfield and um, left wing, it was also a very nice chemistry link um, between Ronaldo and Bale on the left hand side if you wanted to rock a skill team. So with that said guys, that's the special cards we've seen of him, let's move on to all of them. So these are all the cards of Bale I was, um, I think if we, Ultimate Team had started a long time um, before FIFA 09, we probably would have seen some bronze silver cards of Gareth Bale and um, but obviously FIFA 90 started with a 77 rated version these are a nice collection of cards I've owned a few of them I've owned the rarest one as well which was the 95 card um, and I do remember playing with the left wing version as well it was all right but I just remember him being left footed it was a very very lacklust um, car, but very, very rare and very, very expensive. So if you guys have managed to play with any of the bales over the years, let me know in the comment section below. Try and smash over 5,000 likes as well, and we'll bring a Robin video out tomorrow. And um, yeah, subscribe, comment, like, guys, and I'll see you all again next time.